Even. We're not oblivious to, you know, look, NVIDIA continues to amaze us. Something huge has happened. NVIDIA is now more valuable than Amazon. On 12th February 2024, this company surpassed the likes of Amazon and Alphabet, which is Google, to claim its spot as the fourth most valuable US company. Thanks to a surge in artificial intelligence, NVIDIA's market value went through the roof. NVIDIA's market value now approaching a trillion dollars. The stock story of the day, NVIDIA. Right now, NVIDIA is the leader in the market for chips that power artificial intelligence. You see, in the tech world, only a select few reach the summit of a trillion dollar valuation. Popularly known for powering video games, NVIDIA's chips are now the hidden heroes behind some of the most advanced technologies shaping our future. From enterprise AI models to the autonomous vehicles cruising down our streets. It's a shift that's turning heads not just in Silicon Valley, but around the globe. On May 30th, 2023, NVIDIA briefly joined the Trillion Dollar Valuation Club. Yet, as quickly as it ascended, NVIDIA's valuation slipped, mirroring the brief fate of giants like Meta and Tesla. But the NVIDIA story was far from over. By late August, boosted by an 88% surge in revenue driven by booming demand for its data center products, NVIDIA wasn't just back. It was breaking records and its stock nudging against the $500 mark predicted by Morgan Stanley. How the company once focused solely on gaming graphics evolved to redefine the boundaries of technology with less consumer brand recognition. The answer lies not just in what NVIDIA has achieved, but in the untapped potential of its technologies. And honestly, what lies ahead will not just surprise you, but might just redefine what you thought was possible. It all started in 1993 with Jensen Huang, Chris Malachowski, and Curtis Prem. They weren't just looking to join the tech race. They aimed to redefine it with something the world hadn't seen yet a graphics processing unit, or GPU for short, that would revolutionize 3D graphics. Fast forward to 1995, NVIDIA introduces the NV1. It was innovative, sure, but it was like a first draft to something greater. Learning from its rough edges, NVIDIA didn't just iterate. They innovated, launching the Riva 128 in 1997. But it was the Riva TNT in 1998 that showed what GPUs could really do. With twin texture processors hinting at a future where graphics were bound only by imagination. Then came 1999. The yeah, that will be remembered in tech history with the launch of the GeForce 256, the world's first GPU. It wasn't just about drawing pixels or making games look better. This was about offloading complex calculations from the CPU, changing the game entirely. The 2000s were a battlefield, with Nvidia and ATI, which is now part of AMD, in a fierce competition. Each GeForce iteration pushed the boundaries further, culminating in the GeForce 3's introduction of programmable shaders in 2001. This wasn't just an improvement, it was a revolution setting the stage for graphics that could adapt, change, and become more lifelike than ever. But Nvidia wasn't content with dominating the desktop gaming industry. In 2006, they introduced CUDA, a platform that turned GPUs into multitasking powerhouses, capable of everything from scientific simulations to crunching vast data sets. It was a hint at NVIDIA's broader vision, beyond the confines of gaming. 2008 marked NVIDIA's leap into mobile with the Tegra series, powering everything from smartphones to Nintendo Switch, showing that power could come in small packages. Then the AI revolution caught wind, and NVIDIA was ready. Their GPUs, now backed by CUDA, became the backbone of AI research, driving forward breakthroughs in image and speech recognition that felt like science fiction. In 2016, NVIDIA launched the Pascal architecture, which was a step towards the future where GPUs would be essential for the emerging field of deep learning, offering the computational might needed for AI to leap from research papers to real-world applications. Strategic acquisitions like Mellanox Technologies in 2019 underscored NVIDIA's ambition to not just participate in the data center revolution but to lead it, enhancing their capabilities in processing and analytics. Then came Turing in 2018, with NVIDIA introducing the world to real-time ray tracing. This was a new realm of realism, bringing the nuance and beauty of natural light to the virtual world. Now, if you're anything like me, you love money, but more more importantly, you love to know how wealthy people and businesses like NVIDIA make and grow money. 
Here's a look at the strategies that propelled Nvidia from its humble beginnings to a titan of technology. Number one, at the heartbeat of NVIDIA is innovation and R&D, which is the short form for research and development. NVIDIA's journey in innovation is exemplified by its groundbreaking work in ray tracing technology. The introduction of RTX series GPUs marked a leap forward, bringing real-time ray tracing to consumer graphic cards for the first time. This technology, previously reserved for high-end film studios, revolutionized gaming graphics by simulating the physical behavior of light, creating incredibly realistic visuals. Furthermore, NVIDIA's research in AI led to the creation of the DGX systems. NVIDIA Accelerated Computing starts with DGX, the world's AI supercomputer designed specifically for AI and deep learning workloads, showcasing NVIDIA's commitment to pushing the frontiers of technology. This commitment to R&D has not only cemented NVIDIA's reputation as a leader in GPU technology, but also as a visionary shaping the future of computing, especially in 2024 when every tech giant out there wants to own a chatbot. Number two is market adaptation. An example of NVIDIA's market adaptation is its early investment in deep learning and AI, recognizing their potential long before they became mainstream. The launch of the CUDA platform in 2006 allowed researchers and developers to utilize GPU computing for a wide array of applications beyond graphics, such as simulating brain neural networks, predicting weather patterns, and more. This pivot not only expanded NVIDIA's market reach, but also established GPUs as an indispensable tool for AI research and development. But the next strategy is outright brilliance. Number two, strategic partnerships. In the new S-Class, High-tech and high-luxury really come together. I love cars and I love technology. In fact, my first car, my first nice car was a Mercedes S500. My second nice car was a Mercedes SL500. So you can imagine how excited I was when Mercedes invited NVIDIA to help build the computers for their next generation car. NVIDIA's strategic partnership with automakers like Mercedes-Benz exemplifies its collaborative efforts. By teaming up to develop AI-powered vehicles, NVIDIA is integrating its technology into the automotive industry, driving advancements in autonomous driving. Another significant collaboration is with cloud providers such as Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud which offer NVIDIA GPU-based computing services for AI and machine learning workloads, making high-performance computing accessible to companies and researchers around the globe. The next one is the bedrock of NVIDIA's relentless innovation. And honestly, if you think NVIDIA's partnerships are brilliant in itself, wait for the next. Number 3. Corporate Culture NVIDIA's hackathon events underscore its innovative corporate culture, encouraging employees to collaborate on projects outside regular work scope. These events have led to the development of new product ideas and improvements, fostering a sense of community and innovation within the company. NVIDIA's emphasis on continuous learning and development through initiatives like the Deep Learning Institute further supports its culture of innovation, empowering employees and customers to stay at the cutting edge of AI and machine learning. NVIDIA's last strategy is as groundbreaking as its technological innovations. The last strategy is financial management. The strategic acquisition of Mellanox Technologies for approximately $6.9 billion in 2020 is a testament of NVIDIA's savvy financial management and strategic vision. This acquisition significantly enhanced NVIDIA's networking and data processing capabilities, crucial for expanding its data center business. As we wrap up our exploration of NVIDIA's strategies, it's clear that the company's journey is a testament to the power of combining innovation, market insight, strategic partnerships partnerships, a culture of creativity, and financial acumen. But remember, in the fast-evolving landscape of technology, the journey is always far from over. The question becomes, what's next for NVIDIA? Especially now with competition from OpenAI. If you cannot buy more such chips, make them yourself. Let me first just say that everything about this is just mind-boggling. Last year in September, NVIDIA had 80% of the market share. Sam Altman wants a slice of this pie. And here I'm going to use Google's definition, something that sounds undoable, but if done, could redefine humanities. Altman wants to raise, according to the journal, this could require up to $7 trillion.
trillion dollars. The answer promises to be as dynamic and transformative as the technologies Nvidia continues to pioneer. What's certain is that they will continue pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the realm of visual computing and beyond. But now we turn the spotlight over to you, the viewers. What are your thoughts on Nvidia's strategies? Do you see other factors contributing to their success? Drop your insights, opinions, and even topics you'd like us to explore next in the comments below. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more explorations into the companies and innovations transforming our world.